So there's been a lot of conjecture recently, primarily from the Liberal media, about whether the likes of Yvette Cooper and Chuck Rumina will go back into the shadow cabinet. Will they serve JC? Will they take these big, high roles that they think are so becoming of them? I would throw the question right back at those who are asking it. Why should Jeremy Corbyn ask them back into his shadow cabinet? What do they bring? What resources? What ability to persuade? What ideas? I would say very little. And also, how much can you trust the political instincts of people like Yvette Cooper, like Jack Rumina, who were planning, I'm told, their own leadership bids on the very night that Jeremy Corbyn defied British political history? How little did they know about this country that they had hired people to run those campaigns when Labour won 3.5 million new votes, when they increased their share of the vote by 9%, the biggest that any party has achieved since Labour in 1945, when they won 54% of the vote in London, when they gained seats in England, Scotland and Wales, when they got the same share of the vote in England as New Labour in 1997, Chucker and Yvette Cooper. What do you know about politics in this country? I'm intrigued about this. It seems to me that you must be so out of touch to have got it so badly wrong. And that extends to other MPs too. I've been shown letters which various MPs around the country uh, were giving out to local constituents saying, we know that you don't like Jeremy Corbyn, but vote for me, I'm the local MP, I don't share his politics. Joan Ryan said that to her constituents. She was defending a majority of 1,100. She really believed she was going to lose. Well, Joan, congratulations on your majority of 11,000. How was that one? It was won through activists campaigning on that magnificent manifesto. And it was won because your constituents understood that Corbyn represents a new politics of the many, not the few. Yvette Cooper, Chuck Rumina, Tristram Hunt, Joan Ryan. How out of touch do you have to be?